this could be us So back to what I was saying This could be us Aiden, please tell us, how does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your very first race? I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes. And tell me about Casper Ackerman. How is that relationship coming along? It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? He tried to stop them from signing you. Didn't want to play babysitter. We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. I had a call this morning from Christian Horner. You're being watched. You know what his problem is, don't you? Thinks you're getting too old. You want respect, you give respect! That's how it works! How about you give me a little respect? How about you earn it first? I'm done. You what? I'm retiring. Why didn't it work out between you two? He's on more money than me. What? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? And you thought I was past my best? So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, it has been one man at the center of it all. I want us to push for fourth. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. So Alf for Romeo, potentially on track to really upset Alpha Tauri here. Butler's closing in on Ackerman. Down the inside he goes, and they hit each other. Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him. The Dutchman looks to be continuing at. It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty. Good the third, eight. What about Casper? We let Aiden pass. Let Aiden pass. We did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash? Butler's okay? Bruised ego, perhaps. <laughs> So, Miami Grand Prix, several races into the 2022 season. Chapter 1, 2022, a new era for Formula 1, an overhaul of the technical reg regulations marks the first major update to the sport for several years. But it's not only the new cars that are turning heads down in the paddock. So here we are then, four breaking point it's came back for f123 and i'm ready to play this so let's advance what was it like grid you know the first time you see a car your car with your branding your name on it in an official race alongside ferrari mclaren mercedes that's what it's all about you make it sound like a dream come true. If only. When did you first get a sense of what was in store for Connor Sport? 2022 season, <clears throat> straight out of the box. The drivers were always going to clash. That was a calculated risk. But the car, mm, the car, the car had problems. We're midway through the Miami Grand Prix. It's been a cracking race so far, and it's all up for grabs. Absolutely, Crofty. Some fantastic driving here today, especially, I have to say, from Aidan Jackson. I don't think I've ever seen the Connor Sport car being put through its paces quite like this. This is a team, Connor Sport, that have got a lot to prove this season, but Jackson might just be the man to do it. Well, Set to start. If you can. Copy that. Got it on the highest difficulty. So let's try getting to who's in front now. Yuki Tsunoda we're starting off with. The objective is to just finish the race. So let's finish the race then. Oh, getting very close behind Yuki Tsunoda there. That was, I had to back off there because I didn't know what Tsunoda was doing. He just slowed down right in front of me. And uh, yeah, got a bit of snap there. I don't really like this circuit because it's a very windy circuit and when you're... And the game just loaded you in. Kind of not very warm tyres. 
Oh wait, no it has. I don't know why then. It's just very non-grippy, this circuit. So you have to really be focused on what your car's doing. Like that, that was just a slide there. And that's Schumacher going down the side of Fernando Alonso. Okay, uh, yeah. Is one Breaking seconds. point this year. It looks good from just that first cut scene. Yeah, they've definitely done better from 2020. When was it? 2019? 20? No, 2021, wasn't it? Yeah, 2021. Um, and the two rivals, Butler and Jackson together then. I don't know why Connor Sport thought that was going to be the best idea to go with, but they have, and we're catching up to Fernando Alonso now. Uh, we'll gap get DRS then. Gap behind seconds. to Sonoda now has just reached two seconds as we are now gaining on Fernando Alonso. His DRS isn't doing as much as the Connor Sport car does. We're around, and this is starting from the 2022 season with the new regulations and everything and then oh and then we'll go into 2023 but we just hit the wall there it was so unlucky though hope hopefully we didn't damage anything i don't think we did no we didn't i think we might have just bruised our tires a bit but that's fine um yeah i was very scared there i thought we hit the wall well we did like broken the front wing but we didn't luckily people are in the pits though let's have a look who that is while we try to pass them as we're trying to get to Schumacher who doesn't have DRS so we'll be gaining so that was Esteban Ocken coming out the pit lane there and we just hit the back of Schumacher we went for the dive the dive didn't really work because we lost a bit but we got the rear done so nothing to really complain about there and now we gain to Valtteri Bottas who's stuck behind the McLaren no the McLaren of Lando Norris has just been overtaken by the new compound tyres that have been put on Esteban Ocon's car Butler behind us is gaining a bit. We've gone a bit wide. I'm trying to find the grip in these tyres. It's like no grip in these soft compounds. I don't know why, but we're not gaining on Belton Robotas yet. We were just losing time through that section. That was kind of a messy lap though. Let's go and try to get the fastest lap now. Don't think we'll do it though without the OS. Okay, we got the fastest sector three without the OS. So I'm guessing we can do the fastest lap without the OS. Nearly hitting that wall there, yeah, that was close. I got a bit of snap and then got very close to the wall. I'm definitely getting on Valtteri Buttons, definitely stepped up our game this lap. Trying to get the fastest lap, sector one was a red. I don't think we're going to get it without DRS, but we can still have a shot at it, can't we? Here we go then. We're going to get DRS on Valerie Bottas, but it's going to be a DRS train. Butler's behind us now, but we're going to slowly make slowly gain now to Bottas and get the move done. This 2023 game definitely better than the 2022 game. Look at the graphics in this game. So 
try. Yeah. Here we go then. We've got DOS for Bottas as well, but we'll, I think we're going to do what we did on Schumacher, go for the dive. This time, we don't hit the back. Nice move, good job. Nearly hit that wall again. That wall is our enemy right there, because we keep getting snaps out of that corner. Snaps of oversteer. And Bottas runs his way back through them. But there's no objective way to finish exactly, so we'll just try getting the top 10 here then. Bottas, quite slow because he hasn't got DRS because we kind of knocked him out there as we went for the move into turn one. Remember, we've got damage, but that's even more perilous. So we don't get the best of turning because we've damaged the front wing now. Is that 10 or 14 then? And that's just five We're kind of helping Butler eight. here so we better be happy at the end of this Grand Prix. If he's not then I'll... And here we are. Something's happened. We see it, we're looking into it. And this is what they were saying okay, we're about the car. the car. There was problems the and all that work uh, just for Aiden to retire the car Please, here at Miami. Ridiculous. And that's agonizing for Jackson. Just a few laps left to go and he's out of the Miami Grand Prix. Oh, with every race, the car looks like a constant problem for Connor Sport. It must be devastating for the drivers. Confirmation as the car comes to a halt, the Connor Sports Aidan Jackson won't be seeing the chequered flag today. But it looks like his teammate will. Jackson's DNF puts Devon Butler in a position where he might just be able to secure some points for Connor Sport. Aiden's out. Yep, engine problem, I'm afraid. <laughs> Good job you got me. All right, Devon, don't push it too hard. We cannot risk losing both cars here. It's in the bag, mate. All OK, Aiden. And this is why everyone hates Devon. He's doing all right, mate. He looks like he's going to bring home some points for the team. Good for him. So, Miami Grand Prix, post-race, Chapter 1, frustration and ending issue forces Connor Sports, Aidan Jackson, to retire from the Miami Grand Prix only a few laps from the end of the race. So we're going to do one more chat. we're going to do Chapter 2 as well, and then that'll be the end of today's video, and then we can carry on. But that was devastation for Aiden Jackson. If it's not one thing, then it's another. Did you not see what happened out there today? Aiden, I agree with you 100%. We are doing everything we can. I know the car is not perfect, but... Andreo, it's every race. Do you know how I look losing easy points like this? No, no. <laughs> Sounds like there's a right show going on in here. What am I missing? Not now. Oh, definitely. Aiden and I were just discussing issues with the car. Again? I thought that was all in hand. I, I had no problems today. Smooth. You know what they say, a shoddy workman always blames his tools. Oh, <laughs> mate, 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 mate. You can look at my setup data any time you want. I've told you that. It might help. And I've told you before. It's not a setup issue. The problem is... Jackson, that was the problem with the 2022 season. Ask anyone. I mean, at the end of 21, oh, everyone Jack. thought Aiden was going to be I mean, signed by one of the big three. Devon, just uh, shut uh, up, man. He just talks so some rubbish. And do you think that affected Aiden? <laughs> That's no secret. Now, for that 22 season, Jackson was a nightmare. Here we are then at the hub. I remember it from 2021. If we look at the news, we've got uphill struggles at Connor Sport, 
for rivals to come right and we've got a call for Andrea from hey, Andrea. Hey, hey, I wanted to give you a heads up. Now look, the crew has shared the latest telemetry data with us. Fine, um, but I, I don't think it will tell me anything I don't already know. Just humor me, okay? I'd like you to go through it. Let me know if anything jumps out. I'm keen to iron out these problems as quickly as possible for you. Sure thing. Thanks, Andrea. No thanks needed. I've got your back, Aiden. Remember what I said when you joined the team. I won't let you down. Akamun won't let me hear the end of it. <laughs> yeah, sounds like Casper. Y you know he told me the same, right? It's just... It's just tricky, what with the car and... Devin poking his nose in any chance he gets. There is a lot going on, for sure, but we're a team. We'll get there. I'll have a word with the Devon. Tell him to give you some space, both on and off the track, okay? <laughs> yeah, all right. Good luck with that. I was just reading the messages and we just saw David Coulthard here. Sup superb maiden racer my for Miami. We'll look forward to this race in the calendar for years to come. And need Davidson there. Moving forward, and thanks to you all. So, go to next chapter. Here we go then.